Many people are using space heaters and fireplaces these days as the temperatures drop. Brian Wilk has advice to keep you and your family safe from any potential danger this winter. Brian? Sean, from space heaters to fireplaces to furnaces to even Christmas trees, if not used the right way, they can potentially burn your entire house down. Erie Fire Department Chief Fire Inspector Darren Hart says one good thing to remember is three feet of clearance. Three feet of clearance around your hot water tank, three feet of clearance around your furnace, three feet of clearance around when you're cooking, uh, like a kid free zone of three feet. That will hopefully give you enough room in case something does happen. This includes space heaters or anything that burns fossil fuels like furnaces. We definitely have a fair share of space heater fires, yes. Uh, people just kind of lose track of where they are in the room, they move things around, next thing you know something's a little bit too close and it's uh, very easy for it to catch on fire. Also, be careful of using electrical cords. People uh, tend to use electrical cords to run appliances and things like that, uh, which you should never do. All appliances, all appliances should be plugged directly into the wall. Um, you know, and, uh, as far as the cheap uh, extension cords that you see uh, that people use, um, it's just a matter of time before those wear out and could cause a problem. Darren also says cleaning your chimney can prevent a major fire. One chimney sweep company I talked to said they are very busy this time of year. Every year you should get them cleaned. Um, there's a lot of creosote that can build up in there. A lot of people burn things that they're not supposed to um, that can get stuck in there that it'll build up and then uh, eventually you could have a chimney fire if you don't take care of it regularly. Darren Hart also says Christmas trees can be a fire hazard. He says a dry Christmas tree can catch fire quickly, so make sure to water it often. Sean? Thanks, Brian. Coming up.